Marshall. Thank you, Kenneth Williams, and good, good evening. Welcome once again to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hi. It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Wassel family. Holly. Ed. Jack. And Louise. Ready for action. Playing against the Williams family. Roy. Cheryl. Alelia. And Edwin. On your mark. Let's start the Family Feud! Here's the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson! Thank you very much. Welcome to one hour edition of The Feud. Fun for me because we get to meet families that were on the original Feud with me and uh, they're back here now. That's kind of exciting. Good news, by the way, uh, Dan Quayle, he was in, had an operation for, had his appendix removed. He's fine. Everything is great. He, he's uh, renting a house near the hospital. He doesn't want to be too far away. He he's hoping for a a donor organ, and um, we're going to have a tremendous time, I tell you. Will you please help me welcome the Russell! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And you're looking good. I'm doing fine. 1978. 1978. How much did you win? A little over $17,000. Whoa! What a way to go. Let's meet the gang, please. Okay. This is my first wife, Polly, oh. of 52 years. 52 years. One <laughs> mother of five. Okay, welcome. My daughter, Louise, mother of four. Uh, house uh, teacher, homeschooler, and a registered nurse. Okay. And my son-in-law, Jack Kojak Kuczynski. <laughs> and he's in real estate, television production, and had a talk show on the radio. Did he really? Right. Well, you've done a great... Great job at introducing him all. Give him a nice round of applause. They did a great job. Well, it's hard. You've got to remember all those things. Yeah. It's a good break. I, I'm a little older, too. I'm proud of you. You did a great job. 52 years? Right, right. Wonderful. That's wonderful. wonderful. It is wonderful. <laughs> Delighted you're here. Thank you. Nice it's to see you It's sweet again. that he was just, he wanted to mention all the things. All, all my qualities. Everything. I think, well, that was wonderful. I think it was great. Good to see you again. Right, now, is this a picture? This is our good luck picture from 78. Goodness me. This is when these rascals were on here. And it, it must have worked. They took us for 17 days. You bet. Good to have you here. All right, good to see you. Here to challenge you, 1979, a good year. The Williams family. Hey. Hey. Welcome, Roy. Hi, oh, you're looking good here. Did you win any kind of money from us at all? Did yeah, you? we won about $1,500. Okay. Yeah. We can do a little better than that oh, today. Also, also. Ma'am, meet the gang, please. Yes. I have my lovely mother, Lilia. She's a retired school teacher. Hi, my angel. And my sister, Cheryl. She's also a school teacher. Hi. Hello. And Hello. my handsome brother, Edwin. He's also a school teacher. <laughs> yeah. Good to have you here. What do you do, Rob? Huh? I'm a recreation regional superintendent. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Yeah. People that love kids, they're all teachers and work hard. We're delighted you're back here. Great to be Let's here. Let's have some fun, okay? All right, all right. All right. All right. You know. Never thought we'd be here playing the feud again, and here we are. Good to have you here. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Come on, play the back roll game. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wish you gentle luck. This is a little different than when we played it. We bought twenty-five hundred dollars. The very least you'll play for. Three questions here worth varying amounts of money. We can really build up the bankroll. Uh, first question is worth $500. Just looking for the number one bankroll answer. Here's the question. How do you know when a dog wants to go outside? Yes, sir. Barks. Barks. Uh, no. Scratches right. at the door. Scratches? Scratches at the door. Scratches at the door? Yeah. You pop the money, and the very least you'll play for is $3,000. This is worth $1,000. 
$500, this question. Tell me a game that people play in a bar. Yeah. Uh, poker. Poker? Yeah. No, Jack. I'd say darts. Darts? Very good, very good, very good. That's the answer, 4,000. Very least you'll play for. Last bank roll question worth $2,500. Name a character from the original television show, Star Trek. Yeah. Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk? Uh, no. Spock. Spock. Spock? Uh, hey. Russell, 4,000. Okay. William, $5,500. To get it, they got to win the series. Spock beat Kirk by a hair. We'll be back right after this. It's got two of the great old timers right here. Great families. Play the few right here. Wish each other luck. Three hundred is the magic number. Whichever family gets to three hundred will play for all the money in their bankroll. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question: Name the worst thing you've ever fallen out of. Love. Oh, my love. love. Two answers, Ed the big car. Ed fell out of a car. All right, we got it, we got control. What's the worst thing, my angel, that you ever fallen out of? A car. We've got a car up oh. there. That's all right. A uh, door. Out of a door? Okay. Yeah, door! Ah. No. Better sort of fall out of something, what? Well, a swing. A swing. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. A swing. Uh, no. I'm in shock. <laughs> Truly, I thought that was good. I thought it was a number one end. Okay. Edwin, worst thing you've ever fallen out of. Worst thing you've ever fallen out of. Um, let's say a job. Job? Okay. Yeah. Is there all right? If not, third track. A job. Uh, no. Look how quickly oh, yeah, I can yeah, yeah, see. Bad. How about oh, bed? Good, good bed. Yeah, you got a great one. What bed. Have you, ever fallen bed. Out of, have you ever fallen out of bed? Tell me the I truth. I don't know if I have. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope you have it. <laughs> you have? If it's there, you got it. If not, you're on the board. Bed! Yeah! I want to make like a tree house. One way. Tree. I was hipper. I said a tree house. <laughs> Four. <laughs> I've done that too. There's nothing to be proud of. I just want you to know I'm the in crowd. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to know how this turns out. To do that, I'm going to need you, sweet Polly. And I need you. There you go. Wish each other luck. All right. We've got to get on the board here, Don. They have 46 points. Whoever gets 300 plays for the money. 100 people, point values, by the way, are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. If someone used the word jam, what might that person be talking about? Yes. Uh, in a, a problem, having a problem. Oh, they're in, they have a problem. Problem? Three answers could be the problem. Uh, Someone used the word jam. What might the person be talking about? Music. Music. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. If we ever meet up here again. Oh, did I do it wrong? Well, no, I just want you to know what happened because yeah, when wondering. you watch this tape, you'll say, what the hell happened? I, I definitely yeah, hit but... first. You... You brought your hand from here. <laughs> you didn't hit this guy. <laughs> you hit that. Okay, I just wanted you to know, otherwise. Because you know that you thought, I know I hit first. But, but you're still here. We're winning the money here. Right. Someone used the word jam. What might that person be talking about? Jelly. Okay. A little jelly play. Sure. Okay, Jack. I would say 
of sitting out there in the freeway in the traffic. <laughs> traffic jam! Yeah. Okay. We have no strike yet, and we have only one answer left. Someone used the word jam. What might that person be talking about? About a jam session. Yeah. Well, that would be... That would be music. Music. Oh, okay, music. yeah. Oh, That's up on. there because Polly gets, huh? Yeah. What other uh, thing might they be talking about, eh? I hate to say this, but oh. there's such a thing as toe jam. There is. <laughs> <laughs> well, take a look. A man of your age... <laughs> <laughs> Not there, Polly, please. <laughs> I thought I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Right. Let me think. Well, you uh, gave me the number one. I know. I need, the, I need the number five. All right, exactly. You're right <laughs> there. I want to use the word jam. What might the person be talking about? Three seconds. Uh, trap? No, that's not it. That's not Two strike. I have an answer. I don't think it'll you be did? Here. Journal of American Medicine. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. That is very hip. Oh, I could think of. <laughs> well, that is marvelous. It should be there. Right? If it's there, you got it, my love. Journal of American Medicine. <laughs> no, but Louise, that was a great answer. Have you got it? Door, 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 Something people use the word jam. What might they be talking about? Roy the buzzer went. Door, door, door jam. Door jam. Door jam. Usually the big door. We got it. Five players. Oh, when they jam a ball, they jam. Is that what I mean? Yeah. All right, we're just asking. Don't get tested. Two, 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 nothing. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> this is going to luck. We're going to do it. I'm going to get on the board right now. Point values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me a place... Or you may have to sit next to someone you don't know. Yeah. In an airplane. An airplane! Yeah. Journal of American Why yeah. you might have to sit next to someone you don't know. My turn. <laughs> well, if you're going to sit in the airplane, I would think on the bus. All right. <laughs> This is good. Now, what do you think, Ed? I'd say, uh, theater. Sure. Theater? Yeah. Oh, boy. Holly, yeah. Price, you may have to sit next to someone you don't know. In church. Mm -hmm. Church! church. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sweet Louise. In the uh, doctor's office. Okay. Yeah. In the doctor's office. Oh. Well, it comes down to me, and that's what I was thinking. Well, but you have no problem. We have no strikes up. There's only one answer left. Plus, you may have to sit next to someone. You don't know. That's a tough one. I'll say, I don't know if it's up there, but the only thing I can think of is the park. Park? All right. You might have to sit next to a bum. <laughs> Well, enough about me. <laughs> the park! No, first shot. All right. No problem. I got two, and I well, don't know which one. we need one now. <laughs> so I'm going to say the subway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Place you may sit next to someone you do not know. Ed said, and if he's right, you'll be the chair. Subway! No. Okay. Two strikes, Polly. To the rescue. At a party. At a party. A all right, my love. If it's there, you got it all. If not, get ready to steal. Party! Come on, we can get in this game, gang. 
place place where you have to sit next to someone you don't know. Let's try a train. A train? Or that would be the same. Same as subway. subway. All right. Oh, don't give me a train. Boat. Well, I need an answer. I need an answer. Boat. Boat. Then it's off. Well, boat. Boat. If the boat's there, you're in the game. If not, you'll play for the big money. Boat! You got it. like the ball game or something. I'm sorry you didn't do it, but I thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Ball game. I can't believe it. Thank you, Edwin. Love you. I need two people. Well, Jack and Sweet Louise going to play for $4,000 right after we watch the Congratulations. Well done. Sorry, my I, hands are I love doing it. All right, you ready? Here we are. Last time I was here, 1978. And now we're playing for $4,000, Louis. Jack cannot hear us. He's off stage. Clutching the good luck photo, I hope. <laughs> Should we give him a nice surprise? Get a big score. I'll try. 20 I'll seconds on the clock, please. Time will start, my love, when I finish reading the first question. You know, we wish you luck. Name something parents save from their children's school days. Report cards. What color do you look best in? Blue. Something women buy to make their hands look good. Uh, cream. A city in California. Los Angeles. A place you'd see people eating peanuts. At the um, baseball game. Turn around. Oh, oh, like a steamroller. Great answer. Okay. Wonderful. I think parents save from their children, school day. You said report card. I've not been able to save any from my sons, Gary or Mark, because they destroyed them all before. <laughs> I mean, where's your report card, Gary? Ah, uh, they didn't give us one this year. <laughs> where's yours, Mark? Ah, uh, the floods. <laughs> but were there good things on it? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> See if he's blushing. <laughs> he's covering his face. Yes. Here's my son, Gary. Went to school. Twelve years. Never brought a report card home in twelve years. He'd say you have to trust, you know, trust between mums and dads, children. Please. I, I said, all right, I'll trust him. I found out later he never went to school. <laughs> So he was perfect for uh, television. Jimmy! <laughs> 45. <laughs> what color do you look best in? He said blue. Jimmy said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then women buy to make their hands look good. And you said cream or lotion, right? Jimmy said. Whoa. Wow. You got 17. City in California. It is at the moment. <laughs> Waiting for the big rains. L.A., you said. Survey said! Come on. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Place you'd see people eating peanuts. You said, take us out to the... Ball game. Ball game. <laughs> if it's worth 34 points, you've got the money. And we'll never see your husband again. <laughs> He's oh, over there. He's just, well, <laughs> maybe, well, maybe you can, you know, pay us some money and we'll let him go. <laughs> Survey said, let it be a win. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Here we go. All along. All along. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Number one answer. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. They won $4,000. We'll be back right after it. Wonderful. Look. The four cards, blue, hand cream, LA, and the ball card. <laughs>
since, since I've returned, since I've returned on the feud, it's only been done one other time, and that wasn't done with all number one answers. You're the original, so I'm going to give you your report card. <laughs> this is, we don't give these out normally, we keep them in our files. You gave me every number one answer, sweet Louise. You see, I'm your teacher. A hundred out of a hundred, and I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Great. Guys, you hold that for me? All right. Guys, you had a great time here. Stick around. We've got a special. The Battle of the American Gladiators. Coming up next. We love you. Red time.